white walkers at the point. <laughs> but, but I don't understand how you think that we, we you're we're almost losing America and there's a battle for America. Like I really feel way. that like just in, in every regard in terms of just just the people that were running like Hillary Clinton, like this woman was a globalist. Like just think about who we were, who we were in bed with, like Saudi Arabia selling all of our uranium to Russia. Like, a, like Trump came in and was like, no, like America people, we were the gap. Like we lost them. We're losing the middle class. The gap between the rich and the poor was like literally. And what do you think is causing that? Uh, policies shipping all of our jobs overseas the regulation the government getting bigger and bigger you can't do anything as an entrepreneur entrepreneur in america without a piece of paper from the government discouraging people with this piece of paper like sending like shutting down the factories forgetting that there's something you know there's a little land between new york and la believe it or not like you know and this is what trump understood we were losing that and and trump appealed to that those people i'm still floored like as i'm traveling the world and seeing different pieces of the country i'm learning how ignorant i was like, and that's the, the best thing in the entire in what world. Way? Just, I fell victim to the idea that, like, it was progress. It was progress. It was progress. We have to care about the environment. It was progress. And it's like, no, like, we've been losing. America has been losing. And Donald Trump understood that in, in a way that I didn't. And you I thought. You don't think we have to care about the environment? Like, we. No, <laughs> no, not even a little bit. Like, no. Not even a little bit? <laughs> no. Do you, okay, let me, let me clarify this. I don't throw trash on the ground. Like, okay. I'm, I'm not saying, like, we need to, like, you know, trash the environment. Like, um, but do I believe in climate change? No. You don't believe in climate change? Well, I think the climate always changes, I guess is what I should say. Do I believe that this is like, you know, an issue that um, is being, that, that is fa- global warming, which they've changed conveniently. They got rid of the word once scientists started disproving it. Now they only say cli- climate change. Um, no, I, I think that that was just a way to extract dollars from Americans. I don't at all believe. They had no actionable plan. It was great for Trump to get out of that deal. It was terrible. Okay, but this is an incredibly complicated subject. Right. And if you would have to talk to a bunch of different scientists right. and see how they gather data and see what they understand about CO2 levels and what's the danger of them right. and what can combat it and what could not. Have you done all this or no, do you so take think, this flippant opinion no, it's, based it's, on listen, the I'm party not, this line? Is not, this wouldn't be the hill I died on, right? But it's not about the party. I just genuinely, I, I've read a ton about it, but what I would not read? be able to, I would not be able to come to you and say like, this is my strong opinion, but here's like the easiest way to say this, right? Okay. The fact that there is a disparity in the science community about whether or not it's real is enough to- It's very little, yep. very little disparity. But, most, most, dis, most scientists, most, the, the vast majority, agree that human beings are negatively affecting climate change. Yeah. The vast majority. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, just, I just don't think so. You, so you think that the very few scientists that disagree with yeah. the consensus are the ones that are correct? Well, I think if something is, it, it's, it's either subjective or it's objective. And, and there are objective truths, right? But it's subjective if you're saying mm-hmm. that there are some, and I don't think there's very little. There are some that aren't, don't get paid to go on TV. There are some that are not Bill Nye, who mm-hmm. are not funded scientists. Um, and, and that has been a whole... Well, d- Bill Nye's not a scientist. <laughs> I know. He's not. He's <laughs> a, broke my heart when I found a out. science... Mouthpiece. propagandist yeah, that's, but that's the that's the point he's and, and a scien- no that's not a good word i don't I, think I, I al mean, gore is a scientist negative, he's not right. but bill nye is like a science influencer right. or a science entertainer yeah he's like a, but he doesn't have like, a background in actual science he's not a scientist right. he doesn't have a phd and, he's got an i learned about him in school like everything i did yeah. in science had to do with bill nye well he guy. promotes science and right. science is not bad yeah. but the the real problem is with climate change is that with for sure there has been ups and downs throughout the history of this planet. They're observable. They've, they follow them in, I mean, it was one of the subjects that I had earlier today with um, uh, Dr. Robert Schock. In 2014, the vast majority, 87% of scientists, said that human activity is driving global warming, yet only half the American public, public ascribed to that view. So well, what website is 87%, this? 87%, and this is... Scientific American. Yeah. Yeah, dot .com, though. Like, cause it, that, that means it's, it's making money. I don't trust that. If it was a dot .org, I would probably take that, but that this is just a random website, and well, I, I don't trust Well, Scientific American is not necessarily a random website. It's, yeah, I don't, I don't believe this, like, at all, just so you know. You don't believe it like at all? <laughs> I, I, genuinely, I genuinely don't believe it. I know you do, but I genuinely well, don't believe it. I like, believe most of the time the consensus of scientists that are studying the data. Right. And so what they're doing is but studying. But do you remember all of the stories that came out about the scientists that said that when they tried to present their evidence to show, like they were basically just getting shut down at every corner? You can pull that up too. Like scientists who look, look up, I guess, look up the opposite. Right. Instead of instead of looking for what but you're searching minute, for, looking for what you're not looking that's for. Not what I, ser- I didn't search for it. That's what I found when I searched oh. it. Sorry. 
Yeah, but, yeah. Look up. But, like, but look this up. is my question. Yeah. Why are you so sure? This is a no, extremely, because what you just said. Because what you just said. This is an said, extremely complicated yeah. subject. Uh, and it is. And and I, I said I am not so sure that I would die on the hill for it. Mm-hmm. My opinion right now and. Is, is just that it was a means because forget the fact of whether you believe global warming is real. Let's say it's 100 percent real. Let's say we know for fact it's real. Is there a well, way? Well, well, let's let's be clear. Yeah. Global warming, global ch- climate change is definitely real. It's happening. Well, the question but it's is why it happened. Happen. Yes, it has always happened. So what? What are we? What is the? This the is real, the climate change? Yes, the climate changes. It was different weather yesterday than it was today. The climate is forever changing. Like that. That's the problem. Is that people are making it seem like that's something weird? No, it's no, not no. That's unique. not. You're, you're misrepresenting the issue. The issue is people think that human beings are exacerbating climate right. change to the point where there's a there's a tipping point. We cross over that tipping right. point. We're going to deal with huge problems that could be corrected if we act now and put a lot of funding into climate control. Okay. And this is what Howard Bloom was on talking about a few days ago. He was talking about that the real future involves the technology of climate control and that what we have to be really careful of is letting it get too far where you can't ever stop it and pull it back. This is what scientists are right. warning about. This is why they want emission standards. This is why they want to figure out how to get people to be aware of the fact that this is a real issue. Okay. Now, irregardless... Human beings, if they never existed, the earth has constantly gone through cycles. The question is not whether or not the earth has gone through cycles of of cooling and warming. The question is, are we exacerbating that? The vast majority of scientists say we are. Now, this could... In, this could negatively impact all sorts of coastal cities. This could be a gigantic problem. This is not like propaganda that's drummed up by some sort of big business that seeks to make money off of this or some sort of a uh, Well, they were making money off of it. Al Gore might have made some money off no, of but, it. No, like, but who's the, making the, money the off agreement of that we were in, they were, they were, that was like the amount of money that America was losing. But here's what I was going to ask you. So let's just Wait a minute, let's, the let's, amount of money America was losing? What do you, who was in, in the Paris Agreement. This is the reason okay. why we wanted to get the, out of the, the Paris, Paris Agreement. agreement is, but that's what I wanted to get to. There's, there's so let's say we all agree that Paris global agreement. warming is real. I mm-hmm. don't believe it's real. Okay, so I can't but why, sit here. But, but here's I can't, the question. I can't but why have a belief? What do you mean? Why have a belief as to whether or not global warming is real or not real? Because if I just, I just find that when things, it, you don't you're understand correct. the science. You are correct. But why have a belief in it? Right. So it's not a belief. It's not a belief in it. I don't believe in it. But I know that's what it's I'm saying. But you, but you have a belief that it doesn't exist. Right. I, I no. I, I personally think that this was just the next. The fact that it was presented to us by Al Gore and it's just it well, was it's not. It's, it's not presented to us by just by Al Gore. Right. Al Gore made a, vi- a film. Right. And he's been called like the first green billionaire. Yeah. He's made a shitload of money off yeah. of that. And he flies in his private plane because he's so worried about the emissions. Okay. That is hilarious. Yeah. It's, there's it's, there's it's, something it's, hilarious about the, that. All but, of the people that but are telling he's us. He's a fucking politician. Right. You know, there's there's grossness to all that stuff. Right. Right. And and that's what worries me. So my question is, let's say that it's real. Okay. Let's just assume. Like, that's the best way to let's have say it to be. Let's say it's 100% okay. real. Do you feel that you have found in your research that there is something that human beings can do that would change this all around? It's possible, yes. One okay. of the things that they're, they're figuring out how to pull carbon out of the atmosphere mm-hmm. and even, even possibly reuse it. There's, there's all sorts of things that people are trying to do. I mean, we had, um, what was the young man who made that? Uh, Boyan, device Boyan slot. Boyan slot. He figured out a way to uh, make this device that pulls plastic out of the oceans. They're figuring out a way. To, I that's mean, there's, important. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, of, well, because plastic just can't like uh, over time. But mm-hmm. that's what I mean. Like, so when I say that I'm like, and, like I, I believe in recycling. Like, I'm not like a person that's like this is. Uh, but the idea that the government is just going to take trillions of dollars because we're in some agreement where we're all agreeing that we should do something, is is useless. And and look from the stuff. Like, there's obviously a lot of debate here. And as I said, like, I'm not so... Ed- the one thing you always find with me is I'll never pretend to be so educated on something. Like, I'm, I'm not going on college campuses talking about global warming. I don't do that. Right, but why right? are you saying that you don't I, think I just, it exists, I just, don't, I just... I don't know. Maybe because it got here so... It po- maybe studies, because it got so politicized? Uh, studies into scientific agreement on human-caused global warming. And look at all the studies. It's between... A hundred percent and ninety-one percent at the lowest. Ninety-one yeah. percent of one of the studies from 2014. This is the Union of Concerned Scientists. Yeah. Org. They almost. It's it's a pretty broad right. consensus. Who do they? Yeah. Who do? Who are they? Um, polling. Is it the people Scientists? that are a part of this? Dot, <laughs> um, dot, this dot org? That's what I'm asking. Ten thousand three hundred six be... scientists to confirm over ninety-seven percent 
of climate scientists agree, and over 97% of the scientific articles yeah. find that global warming is real and largely caused by humans. Right. So my question to you is, if you want to step outside of the scientific consensus, right. which is vast and involves 10,306 scientists, and just say, I don't believe in it, yeah. even if you're right, even if you're right, you don't have enough information to say that. Right. No, you and, might but, be I, but that's why I said that, that, that's the but whole you're point. saying I, you don't believe. I it. don't. Yeah, I, I would have to have someone sit down and convince me that it was real. I personally but, don't believe it. That's OK. But why? It's, it's good but, to start at a place of not believing something. But, no, it's not. You think you should start with believing everything. No, it's not believe either or not believe. Yes, not believe. No, yeah. but don't say you don't believe. Yeah. Uh, I, learn about it. Uh, yeah. Learn about it and then have an opinion. But you're stating this opinion without having any real understanding of right. what climate well, science yeah, cause, cause is. It's, but that's that's exactly what an opinion is. I'm not going, like I said, if if, if you said that, Candace, you went on to 10,000 college campuses and you said that global warming wasn't real, then we'd have a problem. Mm -hmm. you're, you and I are just having a conversation. Yeah, but <laughs> why have an opinion on something that you don't have data about? This right. is my question. Like, yeah. I don't necessarily have an opinion on right. climate science. I really don't. Because yeah. I don't know much about it. But what I do my know opinion, yeah. is that what I've read is that the vast majority of people who study it are in agreement that human beings yeah. are affecting so it. So I don't, I just my recall on a lot of the things that I read, and this was a while ago, so this is what, where I, when I first formed my opinion on not believing this, I read a shit ton of articles. Can't recall the data, because like I said, this wasn't something I was super passionate about. It was like somebody posted something, mm -hmm. and then I went on like a tear reading about it. Um, but it was essentially just noting that in a lot of these studies, like when you go and you, if, if we had time to sit down and really pull this up, they're pulling, you know, 10,000 scientists that are within a community that is fun. like these dot orgs. Do you believe in everything that media matter dot media matters dot org puts out for statistics? Right. That's a political that's a political arm of the, the Democratic We're talking Party. Talking about a different subject. I know, but, between, between, but, but I, I know, but I'm just but politics yeah. versus science. But this has been politicized. That's the science thing. has been politicized. Yes, it mm -hmm. has. Global warming in particular has been politicized. One hundred percent. It has been politicized. Right. That's the whole reason I, I, I fell down this dark hole one night reading about it. And I didn't. I was like, you know what? At the end I of the think day, maybe I don't really care. It has been politicized. Yeah. But I think that's also maybe why you're saying you don't agree with it so quickly. Right. Because it's I'm an ideological. I read it. It's an ideological <laughs> right wing point. Right. Is that global warming isn't real. Right. If you're one of those people that thinks global warming isn't real, you're almost always on the right. Right. And that's fine. But I'm telling you that, like, again, I didn't do a deep dive on all of this because I, I read about it because it was at a forefront of a discussion. So I read about it all night. And my conclusion was that they started pulling up all of these studies from the person that, you know, did this that I did a deep dive on. And they started showing how, like, these community of scientists were in fact, somewhere behind that dot org is someone that was being funded. So to me, the issue got too politicized for me to to, to believe that global warming was something that was going to um, wipe well, out the world. Now, scientists get I funded. That is a fact. Yes. But that doesn't mean that the funding affects the scientific research right. and the data, which they all agree on. And this is universally across the entire planet. Yeah. Thousands and thousands of scientists would not stake their reputation on false data. What, what they're saying is not that the only reason why the world is getting warm is because human beings. That the only reason why the climate isn't totally static for the rest of eternity right. is because of human beings. What they're saying is we are negatively impacting our own environment and yeah. we're doing it because we have we poor technology impact. and we use coal yeah. and fossil fuels and emissions and we're raising our CO2 levels. And this is based on data. Yeah. And this is, this is something that you can look at. You could look at the data and, and, and follow where they're getting this information from and follow how they're making these conclusions and follow the vast majority right. of these well, look, brilliant if, if, people if who I study this shit their whole life. Yeah, exactly. And if, look, if I was a person that was putting forth policy on climate change, or if I was a person that put out my opinion publicly on, pol on, on climate change, I would do all of that. I'm just not. I understand what you're saying, but what I'm saying is that you're a very smart person, yeah. and people listen to you, and they're going to listen to you for a long time, But this I is what I hate. But this is, but but this this is what is, I hate. But, the, but hold because on. Because then it's like, Candace, you have to have a formed no, no, no. opinion on everything. No, no, no. You don't have to have a formed opinion yeah. on everything. What you do have to have is the ability to know when you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But I just about. said that. I said but that you to you the entire you time. I said this would, I, Yeah, I but said I don't, don't believe, believe it. And then it. you asked me, and I said this wouldn't be the hill I chose to die but, on but because why, I don't right, I don't. But why even it. say you don't believe in it? Because I, I just personally, like, if, if you how about not have a belief until you so, really have okay, looked so at the data? Okay, so you would prefer if my language, as opposed to admitting that I do not know this, I wouldn't die in this. I've never made a video. I've never made a public statement. You would prefer if I had just started by saying, I, I, I have no, I have no opinion. No, I don't know. 
Okay. That's what I'm saying. You you say but I don't. But I said be- I didn't know. No, you say I don't believe in it. Yeah. I don't believe in it. You, you're saying really clearly yeah. that you don't think it's real. Yeah. So I mean, I think it, it would be the same if I said to you, like, you know, uh, do do you believe in God? Right. No, you, I would say I don't know. You, you would say so. That's this. I feel like this is sort of like linguistics, though. No, I would say I don't know. Okay. I always say I don't know. I don't know. That's, I'm agnostic. Most people say like I believe. I believe it or I don't. Right. So it's like if you say. I think a then, lot of people say they don't know. Okay, I think believe is, is definitely a word that's associated with God. But um, right. So but if, a lot of if, people if say, say that like, they don't know. But if you say if I believe don't in believe in God, and then somebody starts saying, "Oh, you need to form," is it? It's like it's just, I just don't believe no, in it. No, no, you don't because God is not scientific data. Right. There's a big difference between measuring the CO2 levels in the atmosphere and, and the deciding whether or not there's an afterlife. Right. I just, I, I'm i sorry that I just don't believe, I don't believe in global warming. I'm happy to form. You're allowed to yeah. not believe in I, it. I, that's all but I've been the, trying to say is I don't believe in it, but I, I have not. You're an influencer. Well, yeah, but, and but, you're a very but, bright person. But I would, I, if somebody had asked me, like at a place where I'm mm-hmm. influencing on a college campus, what's your opinion? I would say I have none. I bet you would say I don't believe that, in that it like you just did. That is absolutely not true. But you that's just did true. it. We, there are so many in, instances where you could watch it. It's just like, and you can ask Dave Rubin when he asks me a question, I say, I don't have an opinion on it. About a different subject, but, perhaps. Yeah, because you're, you and I are having a conversation one on one. I'm not. Uh-huh. I'm not sitting here to try to. I don't go on campus talking about global warming because I don't. I don't have an opinion on it. But okay. if, if you press me and ask me if I believe in it, no, I don't really believe in it. But could I go deep dive and 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 learn that perhaps I'm wrong? Sure. I personally am inclined to believe that a lot of those studies are manipulated. Um, as I said during the one night that I did deep dive on it and when they showed like all of the pieces of you know of evidence or whatever, it, it just seemed a little shady and I felt that it was politicized. But I think that I have a right to say that I don't believe in something but I, that I also don't know. And that's what I said to you. I don't believe in it, but I, I wouldn't die on this hill. I don't know enough about it. You I did don't... say you wouldn't die on this hill. Yeah. But, what, but you also said you don't believe in it and you stated the reason why because you think it's a scam. Yeah. Yeah. I that's, don't, that's the truth. What do you want me to do? You want me to lie to you? Oh, it's okay, but I just I'm not, I'm not I think it's a complicated like, issue. It's, it's but it, very, it, it, very it, it complicated. It may be complicated. That's fine. But I, I, what do you want me to lie to you and no, say, I'm not think, a politician. You want me to, you no. should, the correct term, like, I feel like this is like the editing of people do, like when they're like, oh, uh, Obama, if they ask you a question, you don't know, this is the way. I'm not running for office. I'm answering, right. I'm talking to you. I, I don't believe in it. What I do you, appreciate I mean, that. I appreciate that. You, I, I can't be fake. I, I, this is my number one problem in life is I can't be fake. And I know that you're pressing me here and that you want me to adjust and to say, like, like I don't, I do not have an opinion or the. But I'm not like a politician. I'm telling you, I don't believe in it. Could I? Could I change my perspective no, and listen, believe in it a year a after I read person, stuff? Listen, if you were just a regular person, you said I don't believe in it. I'd probably go, all right. The <laughs> problem is you're not. You're 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 a very influential. But I'm aware. Person. But I'm aware when I'm on stage, when I'm on my YouTube channel. You, there's no videos of Candace Owens talking about global warming. I'm aware of that. There is now. There, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now it's gonna be Joe Rogan and Candace Owens. Global warming. I just yeah, exactly. And people are gonna be mad at me. It's weird because you're fucking yeah, global yeah. warming shill. <laughs> yeah. Global warming. You know what's fake. funny though is that like. It, this feels so like we're not on the internet right now. That's like I, I still I know, don't feel like problem. we're on the internet. This is the problem. Yeah, but like if we were, if you and I were on a college campus, I'd be like, eh. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure. Meanwhile, I don't have them for my discussion. My I don't know it. jack shit about global warming. Yeah. I really don't. Yeah. yeah, I think the real fear is not even global warming. The real fear is global cooling. The ice age is the most terrifying thing that can happen to human beings. Yeah, when that shit happens. Everybody dies. Yeah, I know. Global warming, you just move inland. Yeah, I, I think that the real thing that Get people are concerned about is like just beyond any of that stuff. I don't know. I think that there's like more concerns in society. Like I, I, I personally think that some scientists started talking about global warming and it got politicized and they figured it was another way to extract human beings' money because of fear. That's my opinion. Okay? I think there's probably some truth to that. There's and then they definitely said we're people... going to find our core scientists that agree with everything we say. It's been proven that Harvard studies have been inc- incorrect because they were being funded by um, certain you know political interest groups. So Harvard I'm not inclined to pull on, up something on... on I'm blanking. It'll come back to me in a second. But the, there were Harvard papers that have been funded by certain researchers that are trying to get a certain political position out, and it causes mass fear. And people are willing to spend their money a certain mm, it's way. It's entirely possible. It, it is. It's people real. That's flawed. very real. People are flawed. So yeah. I'm not inclined when someone pulls up an article and says, "Look, uh, 10,000 scientists." I err on the side of, "Okay, I don't know who those scientists are. I don't know who, what this organization is funded by. So I'm going to stick by my guns and say I don't really believe in it yet." Now, if I decide that I'm going to run for office and I've got to make a decision on on the atmosphere and and, and what we're going to do about global warming and CO2 emissions, you. Better believe I will be fully ready to discuss it. I'm not going to make a, a YouTube video and just know the outskirts of it. I don't do that, right? Mm-hmm. But if you and I are having a discussion, sorry, I don't believe in it. Like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, I would say open, again. open to learning. Okay, open to learning. I'm okay. always open to learning. I've I've been wrong before. I was a liberal two years ago, you know, um, or three years ago. So that's that's not a problem. I'm open to learning, but I'm not going to like. 
pretend, like say something that feels inauthentic. And what I wanted to say there was, I don't believe in it. It's just one of those things that it's become, it's a real right wing talking point. 